Welcome back to session two of Call of Cthulhu in Cardiff. When last we left our victims, we were uh, just leaving the great party where only one person died, which is, which is a great, great plus. That we know for, of so far. For, that's true. Well, only, only one, one person of any value died. Uh. Yeah. The the serving woman who died in the kitchens is not important enough. No no one cares Wait, about her. The serving woman died? <laughs> Look, it, every jokes. every party there's just assumed to be some casualties in the time. Yes. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. Making it's food is dangerous. Yeah. You know, you drink a little bit, you get the rifles out, mm -hmm. you give them a 30 second hard set, head start. Mm -hmm. Accidents happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, the cooking vats are large and there were no safety tape in those days. So <laughs> there are like, big catwalks yeah. over them. Yes, exactly. With no guardrails. <laughs> no guardrails. <laughs> Look, when, when Rich the people pay a lot for exotic soup. Yeah. When the mistress asks for uh, 10 pigs worth of pork and there's only eight pigs, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. Don't want to disappoint the lady of the house. Somebody's getting fired. It better not be you. <laughs> You're gonna be fired one way or the other. You have to choose. It's <laughs> like, mm -hmm. all right, I'd rather make the soup than be the soup. Well, Jimmy, you're the new guy. <laughs> Nobody liked Jimmy. Uh, that's anyway, so uh, <laughs> we already finished uh, realizing that as you went to your homes, that some of you went home to your families and your loving wives and your compassionate children. And others of you came home to burglars and people breaking in. And we were going to finish off to see what the... Uh, I believe, who did we not pick up on? We Did, did we miss anybody? Okay. Oh, yeah. So, in the middle of the night... <clears throat> Wait, I thought we already did you. Yeah, we did we? Oh, yeah. I'm just missing yeah. my Will, Will went home to his wife. Oh, that's... With his wife. Yeah, he told her what was up. Right. Yeah. He wasn't yeah. supposed yeah. to. Yeah. It, it turns oh, out... Oh, man. I'm gonna tell. <laughs> you don't know that he told his wife. I wouldn't tell me. She's... She's... She's tight-lipped. <laughs> somebody... For now. Somebody... Who else? Who else said something? Somebody else, so as far I, as I, I remember, from yes, right. everybody yeah. told somebody. It was, it was, it was, well, she, it was I, Amber and Peter were left out. I oh, that's right, yeah. it was us. Yep, okay. I told Thomas, so, but who knows who, if he'll remember. Who do you want to be first? We'll start with you since okay. uh, you're returning to the church. Oh, well, I don't know. I, I, should, I will not put actions into your well, maybe you decide that you're gonna go get drunk for the evening and uh, oh, no, all right, <laughs> no, no. Um, I have my dice bag in here. Yeah, well, I mean, you were right. I do go back to the church. Okay. I go to my tiny room that the church has provided me, almost a closet. I get into the desk, which seems... Which is almost like a school desk that they found somewhere. Um, and I begin writing a letter to the Vatican immediately. Ooh! Telling oh them now that... Now, just in time to come to everyone's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. <laughs> Oh, I could just do a, could I do a telegram instead? Yeah, you'd have to go in the morning oh. and get the person to go. Da, 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 da. Oh, you could do that thing as like, Vatican, stop. Okay. Emergency, stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, in I that stop. case, I'll go to bed so I can rise up early to do a telegram in the morning. Because there's Ooh. no way that someone would, you know, I can't <clears> knock <throat> on the telegraph. Thing. You could. Like, if this was, like, the beginning of World War II, you bang on the door and go, The, the Germans are coming! They are at the gates! I don't think this I is I don't know why war. a German Amish <laughs> person would have been the one. It could have been, like, Belgian. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> We are here! Let us in! It's like... Wow. Uh, no, I don't think this is World War wow. II-esque. Okay. Not yet. Uh, I'll wait. I'll just, I'll just take a good night to sleep. Maybe I'll start writing what I'm going to say to the Vatican. Okay. So I'm, at least when I go to the tele telegramist, I'm prepared. It's, it's the telegraph office. The telegraph office? Yeah, okay. telegrammer. It's the telegrammer. Tele telegramma. <laughs> it's just the grandma with the telegram. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's her shtick. It's called yeah. the telegrammas. And she, you come in, she'll send a message, and she'll give you like a little energy bar. It's like, a <laughs> message a message and a candy. The message yeah. is just gibberish. I just make these cookies. You did not hear you correctly. <laughs> See, that's why I go. I, like, I go for the cookies. The telegram is just yep. icing on top. And then it's wrong. <laughs> and then it's wrong. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't get my telegrams wrong. <laughs> that's what you think. 
I'll, I'll, I'll make sure Telegram is in my next game. <laughs> She'll be surprisingly confident. <laughs> okay, well, once you get back, you realize that you're much, much more tired than you thought. Uh, while you were a great man of the church, all that partying and late night murdering and stuff like that and, and drinking yeah, is not your usual no. fair. Okay. Although, as a priest of the church, your ability to drink alcohol is surprisingly high. Oh. That's good. And That's by, I'm I mean, not surprisingly. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you're Catholic, so. Yeah. yeah. You, you are aware of why Catholic priests are drinking. Do they drink a lot? No, they're required to drink all oh, the that's wine right. that used up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're 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 power drinkers. Was the party <laughs> was the party on a Sunday? Oh no. Okay. That would be that would be you horrible. Would have been right. There. That would that would yeah. have been bad. No. Okay. You can always ask for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Isel, what are you going to do now that the death has occurred? Your patron, the one who has been giving you your money and your wealth and your ability to come oh. into this house mm. at your leisure. <laughs> what the uh, hell? I just love thinking oh, of her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you see her in the park. <laughs> I was Mark, trying to remember oh, whether I had left the stove on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that would be so great. If you use amazing psychic powers for just one thing. At the thing. Mouth and, yeah. and He's like, I attack with my grizzly bears. Take two. Two! Okay. Your life. How that changes. So, I actually have a bit saved up, but I am, because I do have a job, so that's a little bit better, but I'm going to go to my townhouse, like a little apartment thing. It's not like a big huge but it's it is a whole floor but your job floor. is as madama as l right well yeah but i also am a cook oh a i thought that was just a thing you did no i thought your whole I job was i am madama as l come that to my place great, but oh, okay. i do i do secret cult things oh okay but I also apparently don't do secret cult yeah, things you know you gotta pay the bills with other people you can. Do your employers, as as a cook, know that you're also <laughs> this other person? <laughs> Special no, cult suit. That's that's why it's really good to be on a ship and have everyone be scared mm. of you. Hmm? Especially in the nineteen twenties. Yes. Yeah. You don't like the food. <clears throat> <laughs> this beer is so common. Because <laughs> my presupposition is that you've been kind of here for a while now and that you're no longer the, the the cook person that was just in your background no it's just like a part-time thing you do so okay whenever a ship comes and they're like oh we need a cook time, time to tell yeah it's just that when ships go in this time of year that like we're we're in 1920 when yeah. you got on a ship like you're like gone a 40 for 40 yeah. chance to live yeah and there's a 40 <laughs> chance what? to live it just sinks. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm probably it's... exaggerating. I like how the, how the in, in Nick's world of 1920, 60% of all ocean going vessels just were lost. Just yeah. Yeah. Wow. There's just a mass death everywhere. No one blinks an eye. That's I why mean, airplanes were eventually invented. It's like, those ships are so deadly. I mean, <laughs> we have to escape the ocean. No one would know. You come back and there's like five it's people are gone. You, people the, the ask. They rats. just say yeah. they, they got off at the other port. Bermuda. Bermuda. <laughs> Throw the corpse overboard, no one will know. Exactly, exactly. Anyway, so you return to your so more records were kept. I have to get back mm -hmm. to my apartment. Would you and worry I'm about going them? They're to on vacation. sit down mm -hmm. and have a moment to center myself and kind of talk and like put out good auras and like have that little like meditation time. Like I'll light the the incense and Ooh. Energy yeah, bullshit. No, go Your neighbors must love you doing this. In that. fact, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> like halfway through the thing, you hear like a, a pounding on the wall. It's like, don't, don't, don't. Shut it! Shut it! <laughs> She's like, I curse you! <laughs> so you're not going to try and contact her? What? You're not going to try oh, and contact her? Oh, oh, yeah, contact your client. I could. I could try and do that. That is a good idea. I may have a look see. Right. So first of all, you should make an occult roll since you're doing this. Yes, that's why I'm, oh, yeah. I'm having a look see. And you're possessed. <laughs> 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 ah. 
I like, didn't know it happened this quickly. Well, would that be a failure or success? Um, because then if she's one, possessed, we can talk to the spirit. Which one's are they? This one? No, I mean, like, it's a, it's, a, it's it's a, it's a 10 NPC. and a and 100. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, this one goes with that one. Rolls and this one yeah. goes with yes. this one. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, I heard the dice drop, and I'm like, did I drop it? <laughs> Okay, Ooh, that is a success 19. with a 19 out of 7. Very nice. So you're reading the tarot, yes. and the incense is, what is and your, your, your mind and your nostrils are filled with, like, the, the flavors of this headiness that you always feel when you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. And you can't tell whether or not it's that what? you contacted the spirits or whether or not the incense is made with opioids. Uh, but, but you definitely feel... <laughs> <do. coughs> <laughs> it's 1920. There are no yeah. laws, um, no. so yeah. there are a lot of opioids. There's a lot of opioids in the world. Yeah, yeah. Like, especially now that you've become a woman of means, you you can definitely get opium pretty easily. Uh, That's how you solve any mystery. <laughs> all, all of opium. opium. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And so you get this deep sense that the cards are laid out, and you're reminded of two things. Number one is that. The grand lady was amazingly fanatical about trying to contact her husband. Mm -hmm. And you always had a sense that somehow she wanted to do it not out of, I'm an old lady who misses my husband, but that there was something unsaid and undone that she needed to finish, but she was never open about it. Yeah. And today, as you're casting the tarot, surprisingly enough, at the very center of your circle, is the lovers reversed? Whoa! Cross hatched with death. Kind of, I'm like, I like want to get up. That sounds like, and reversed. that was at the moment when this revelation comes, where the bang starts with boom, 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 and you're boom, like boom, jostled, boom. like back to reality. You're like, shut it! Okay. It's four in the morning, you wench. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us have real jobs. <laughs> death, death is better awake at night. <laughs> Don't you threaten me, you white crazy cook, witch. I wonder how often the neighbor has to put up with yeah, this. Yeah, because I mean, like eventually the neighbor like would be like, night. Put, uh, yeah, every night, every couple of nights. But yeah, but like the rent's low and yeah. sort of a nice neighborhood. Like, yeah. He would be more angry, but the woman who lives on the other side of him is uh, is a lady of the evening, and so and she's also in a band. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. so she's a drummer. He just, he just spends all night banging, like banging on his walls. So lovers reversed yeah. is basically like the bad side of love. Not necessarily. The, the, like, the tarot reverse has reversed. a series of potential meanings, yeah, and they're yeah. not always negative. It well, yeah, it could be good or bad. Yeah. Or bad. Dun, 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 dun. Could be you decide. Best yeah. night. <laughs> or your I guess they all show clubs. What could it be? Like a bunch of superstitious yeah. so, no, poppycock. It would, have, it would have been laid uh -huh. this way. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> or it could not. Oh, okay. Cross eyes. I get it. No. Do you want to take a picture that. James Olsen might or might not Steel put art, up. Art isn't a, a betting man. <laughs> no, absolutely. Of our lovely well, tarot those cards. of you who are experts those in are the beautiful. tarot, <laughs> this is what she saw. And just at the moment that the revelation of this reading came to her, her angry neighbor jostled <laughs> her back to reality, neighbor. disrupting her connection to oh, the other oh, side. Oh. Man, you fuck with my chakras, she... man. So what does it mean? It, it meant that the neighbor was about to bang on her wall. And then it <laughs> That's did. exactly what that means. Because late Whoa. in the night, this but, next door, and, and she didn't want to do anything. She's about to kill someone. She, and she. <laughs> oh, I know. That would be a totally different <laughs> oh interpretation. Yeah. You might have to go to a telegraph box. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Death, death has fallen in love part. with your neighbor. <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's just like that it's, book by no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the neighbor falling in love with death. So, yeah. how, how will yeah. you respond? It is very late at night. Your neighbor wants neighbor you to shut it. And you've received this horrend what? horrendous reading. 
Well, there's no one I can tell at this point, pretty much. Like, I haven't really made any friends. I don't have any friends anymore. It's 1920. You just run out into the streets. <laughs> just start <laughs> screaming it into the streets. So I do have a secret cult that I go and commune with every, every like, let's just say Thursday. Sure. On the army meet Thursday nights. <laughs> so you got another six days. Okay. Also, your your fellow cultists are also asleep. Yeah. They also have day jobs. So I could go to bed. I'm going to go to bed and think more on this revelation. Right. You tried to do so, but you almost fall asleep immediately. Because it's been a long night. And you were drinking. Hmm. And the spirits are exhausting. Yeah. More <coughs> other spirits. Okay. Ha! Oh, 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 I got it. Oh, oh, you got it. Oh, very nice. That's a, that's a slow burner. I'll, sh- I'll show myself out. I don't care all week. All right, so the following morning, for those of you who are not deep lake sleepers who want to sleep in and uh, can't be waked by anything, the first thing you hear is the yelling of like the kid hawkers selling their papers. It's like, read all about it, read all about it. The grand lady Philomena has been murdered. Oh, awesome. And there's a couple of things. Number oh. one is that your first thought is, oh, huh. Love her. They the newspapers not- really, no, the no. newspapers first of all got information really fast, right? I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm crazy oh, yeah. fast. So the, the press must have been at this party. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So right. they definitely... And, they they, they would have found out. And, you know, so gossipers and all the the high yeah. are ups I, I, I was fully yeah. expecting this to spread yeah. like, wow. No, that makes sense. But what I'm surprised about is that they're calling it a murderer. I feel that they would have oh, just yeah. said she's passed. Oh wait, well, uh, murder stop papers. Uh, well, I'm, okay. uh, so I'm awake to. What are they? Yes. So people want to know, know details. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. awake. Wait, did, which one of you is the one that has a baby? Do. Yo. Oh, okay, it's you. Okay, because I was thinking, if you had a baby, you've been no. awake yeah. for hours by now. Yeah, Ooh. on and off for the last. Um, probably, I'm, okay. you know, I'm awake two to hear years. this, didn't even and sleep. Uh, I want to go out and get one of those papers. All right. Hey, Nissa, you want to read all about the murder? Oh, we five pence, please. I give him five pence. Yeah. And then I take it and, and I start reading it. So it's it's front page news. It's got a great picture of the estate and it's got a little drawing of like the daughter and her husband and she's being consoled and things like that. And as you read the story, it's basically that there there was this great grand ball. Everyone who was anyone was there. And the key of the story is that the lady Filomena was found murdered in her study. And that uh, the police are trying to keep it hush hush because it's like there's there's intrigue and there's a, who's going to get the inheritance and you know there's there's suspicion that she was murdered by a family member because there was like confusion as to who was going to get the, the the mill when her husband had died and they've been fighting over the estate for years and how she was just hanging on to her, her grubby elderly woman fingers. <laughs> What's mm. the name of this publication? Oh, it's the Cardiff Crier. Okay, Ooh. it's just the main paper of the city. Okay, so I'm thinking to myself that, like, the only way that they could get this information would it would have to be somebody that was in the room with us because they told every single person in that room to get out of the room and not say a word. Well, so well, no, wait, like, I'm, I'm awake as well, she was yes. dead. and I so would like have the, gone like out the, and get, like the get the morning paper as I normally do. Yes. You, think, you um, think, like, the police provided this information to the presses, and then... I, I, well, I mean, what information I mean, is in there? Yes, like, so... Uh, they, they is, just said the are there any details up. about... Yeah. What's out about any desert weird illness or something like that? No. Or, or condition okay. of the body. No, no. supernatural. So no from that, I, I personally judge that nobody in the room was the one who passed it okay. on because everybody at the party knew that she had died in a mysterious way and the fact that the police shut it up and no, didn't let anybody else in the room or let anybody know what was going on <coughs> just makes for good journalism. The article mm-hmm. is very clear that Captain Llewellyn was extremely not forthcoming about providing any information okay. that he would not provide any information about an ongoing investigation and that they would they just kept citing but, like anonymous sources who were present who said this is what they saw or this is what they heard so the police are calling it a murder though officially the police have not uh, captain Luana has said nothing 
Okay, like, like so that's so just, just total idle speculation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> journalistic integrity hasn't been invented. It's very tabloid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it still hasn't been invented. <laughs> yeah. The Crier is considered yeah. the most it's, reputable it's news source in the city. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah. that and 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 the Zodiac at the back is like very popular. Ooh, the three that. comics in the, in the comic section is also hilarious. But they're all like full page. Yeah. <laughs> are they political or not? Uh, no, political comics are not allowed in Carlton. Oh. Ah. Whoa. They are, but they're not taken very well. Oh, okay. It's 1920. The Great War has ended. We are in an age of great right. joy and love. Everyone's happy. No the one underground cares. communist We're newspaper mm -hmm. has excellent Boring. political cartoons. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's true. All seven I'm surprised there's no comic talking about the evils of communism. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't want to give them free advertising. Uh, that's, that's a good point. Okay. Um, is there anything else of note in the newspaper? Uh, well, I flipped through and... The... There is a bit that Ernest Willows is going to try to fly another one of his airships across the channel in a month. Ooh. Uh, what happened to the last one? Huh? Oh. What happened yeah, to the last one? one? Oh, Little. well, the, 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 it, it didn't quite make it to the, to the other side. Uh, <laughs> so ever he's, since he's not the pilot. My, my prayers are the with the families. <laughs> oh, no, he is. So sad. Oh, he, he's super so famous sad. because he was the first person ever to fly from London to France. Yeah. And so it's like, oh, this is super exciting. And then, like, he's been updating his airships and doing his own thing. And, oh, okay. Like, so... When is the flight? It's, uh, a it's a month from now. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, near the, near the start of October. It's going to be this whole new thing. It's like, time. I'm going to do it in record time. It's going to be amazing. And Should check him that standing out. there with some like ladies on his arm. The opportunity? And, like, <laughs> he's wearing his aviator, like, outfit or his scarf. And it's, like, super, <sighs> super awesome. He's got a big old curl mustache. Yeah. All right, I'm going to wake up, grab a quick breakfast, and head to the telegram office. Ooh. I'm getting ready. Uh, when I arrive there, I'll pay my, the usual fare and send a telegram for uh, the Vatican. So, you know, 12 East Vatican Way, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Whatever the address to the Vatican is. The Vatican doesn't really have an address like that. For, that that's fine. Okay. Like I actually don't know what the Vatican's official. You just address it to the Pope. Does it go to does it go through like semi secret channels to like uh, the other uh, I don't know Vampire Hunter uh, guys, you know. I don't know if I'd be privy to that. That was kind of You probably send it to your mentor. Uh, yeah, okay. There, that, there's that no generic sense. Vatican postal office right now. Oh, well, this is for the Pope. Let's get it to the Holy Father right away. And the P.O. box. Yeah. Mr. Van Helsing okay. Esquire. Um, <laughs> so it's just going to be a little bit like, uh, <laughs> um, what was the madam's name? Um, Philomena. 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 Yeah. Madam Philomena yeah, has been murdered. Dowager Stop. Countess. Her skin was dry like she was in a desert for weeks. Stop. I suspect demons and or witches. Stop. <laughs> We'll begin investigation now. Stop. Post haste. Uh, please respond. Post haste. Stop. Okay. And then Jeez. I'll sign it, Question. I guess. Gregory Lawrence. Stop. Stop. All right. <coughs> it is happily sent. The, uh, the telegraph person, like, hesitates for just a moment as he's sending a message. He goes, oh. and he continues. Oh, I'm going to tell everyone about this. Did... All my cool friends. <laughs> Afterwards, uh, do uh, do you telegrams have like a both a confidentiality or, or something no. like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I assure uh, you, you, congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I assure you, we we exercise the highest level of discretion. Mm -hmm. I would appreciate that because I mean, what can you problem? imagine what would happen if anyone heard about this? Oh, just tell me I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it would be out. panic in the streets. So. <laughs> yes, <laughs> truly. All right. <laughs> have a good day. And I pay the fare and walk out. Oh, you would have paid oh, before. Right. They don't start okay. sending until yep. you pay. You, you pay another fare. <laughs>